When it comes to risk management, I think there are three important rules that we want to remember. The first one is that we want to make sure we know where we are going to get out before we even get in. And this goes in both directions. We want to know where we're going to get out when we're right, of course, but we also want to identify where we're going to get out when we're wrong. There are two exit strategies. We want to identify those before we ever put in the trade. The next rule comes from the great investor Warren Buffett. He said there are no called strikes on Wall Street. And what that means is, well, if you're a baseball player, you're going to get up to the plate and you have three strikes. So if you get a curveball low and away and you don't want to swing at it, but it falls in the strike zone, it's a strike. It might not be your pitch, but it's still a strike. Sometimes you're going to get a bad pitch that you definitely don't like, and the umpire still calls it a strike. That's even worse. And when it comes to the market, we don't have that problem. We don't have to worry about those things. We could sit up there at the plate all day and not swing at anything. Eventually, we're going to get that perfect pitch. We're going to get that meatball that we can absolutely crush and take a hack. But we want to wait for it. We want to know what it looks like. We want to wait patiently for it. It will come. We're not venture capitalists, where if you get pitched Facebook or Twitter or one of these monster companies, if you miss that, that's a problem. When it comes to liquid markets, the one thing that we're guaranteed is more opportunities. So we want to be patient. We want to wait for our pitch. And that's where Ted Williams comes into play. Ted Williams, that's exactly what he said. Wait for your pitch. Let me show you something. This is Ted Williams and his batting average throughout his entire career. This is one of the greatest hitters in the history of baseball. Notice how all of the pitches that he swung at low and away were some of the worst batting averages he had in his lifetime. But notice how he's hitting above 400 when he swings at pitches right in the middle of the plate. As market participants, we have the ability to only swing at those pitches right down the middle of the plate. We don't have to swing at the bad stuff that are low and away or some of the stuff at the upper end of the strike zone. We want to wait for that big watermelon and take a monster hack when it comes.